right guys so next step um is pretty well i gotta finish tiling obviously taking a break from tiling and uh i've redone or repainted the island so it no longer looks yellow and i'll put a before picture up so you can see what it was before but it definitely looked very very yellow so um willie go go you're gonna get wet paint on you shoo 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 um so that is where we're at right now and it's this is going to take two coats so and then i'm also going to be painting um so where the cabinets are this section right here is also going to get a coat of the same paint before the new countertops go on so that way i don't get paint up underneath the new countertops so that is kind of where we're at. I decided to take a break from tiling today. My back's kind of sore from peeling up all that, uh, these countertops and backsplashes. So uh, I'm gonna take an easy job that needs to be done anyway. So, okay, well, I will bring you guys back later. Bye now. Hey guys, so here we are removing the backsplash. <clears throat> and you see, I have to use a lot of these wedges um, and a chisel that basically starts separating the backsplash from the wall because it's just glued on. So this this part was particularly difficult. It gave me all kinds of billy hell. Um, but yeah, eventually a um, few more bangs and um, <clears throat> we did get it out. So, and there she blows. So just cleaning up some of that extra silicone and stuff, trying to figure out how to get this other part off. Um, getting under this glass was really tough too. So you have to clean out all of the old seal silicone <clears throat> and then you start using your chisel and pretty much wedge it out. And this, this part was actually, <clears throat> this piece actually came out pretty easily. So I was really happy about that. It was just a matter of working the wedges down the wall and then pop, and it, there it goes, and there goes David. Um, here we're actually removing the countertops from the cabinets, so you have to get up underneath with a chisel and hammer like what Grant's doing and I was doing, um, and it just pops. More denied. Yeah. All right, so welcome to week three of uh, Hades Incarnate. Um, so here's the progress on the tile so far. And Grant's legs. Here's the progress so far. So we got all the way over to there. Got a few cuts over there to still do. All the way through here with just a cut right for right there because that takes a lot of time. And under there. And all the way over here. So the main plan of today was removing the speckled chicken backsplash. And you're trying to keep your drywall intact for most of this which I think we did for the most part. I'm pretty proud of how it all came out. Um, and then, uh, as Greg said, it's not a hole, it's a dent. So the behind the sink was the toughest part. I think I still got a piece of wedge stuck in here. Um, the wedge kind of shattered on me. So all along here, and then we got all along here, which was very interesting getting underneath this glass. Yeah, I ain't gonna bad. lie, there was one casualty, so I'll have to replace that. But, um, anywho, um, which is okay, because I have more, because I still had to do that section. Okay, and the final step for today was to get these countertops loose. So now we're gonna temporarily put our kitchen back together because, uh, we still have to use it. Like I said in the last video, we still have to use this kitchen through the remodel. So yeah, that's that's what we're up to. And uh, and then I'll probably continue to tile today. So that is the plan. There's my helper, Willow Bear. Yep. Yeah, where were you? We, we were popping tile. What was you? What were you doing? What were you doing? You weren't doing anything. You weren't doing anything. You were with him. Yeah. Having fun, doing doggy things. Bastard. Oh, and this thing was in the middle of it. 
this cat is getting his own tool belt, I swear to God. I'm gonna find one or I'm gonna make one, but he's getting his own tool belt. So that's the status. <clears throat> Talk to you guys later. Bye now. Good morning, everyone. Glad to see everybody back. Uh, thanks for hanging with me during this uh, whole ordeal. And uh, we're about to get going again. So um, I showed you in the last video that we released the countertop, or the last clip, that we released the countertops and got the backsplashes off. Um, now it's back to tiling, so I thought I'd bring you guys along, because so far all I've shown you is, look, tile is done. But um, I'm going to bring you in to show you kind of the process I used to get this floor evenly spaced and uh, level. So without further ado, I'm going to put you on a... I call it sandy cam that way you can see pretty much what I'm seeing oh yeah there's always noises that goes along with all of this you know it's the huge so we have our thin set mortar and this bucket right here nice fluffy thin set mortar we have levelers which are these little guys right here okay and we also have our 1 8 inch spacers and I've been reusing these so that's why some of them are kind of cruddy looking because <laughs> I've been using them throughout this whole thing um, so let's see you know I wonder I wonder wonder what's in a wonder haul you guys remember that commercial from an age ago? I had to cut this piece right here. This piece uh, right up against, I'm gonna take this camera off. I had to cut this piece right here. So I'm gonna see because if this lines up, oh, oh my God, are you freaking kidding me? Holy crap. Holy crap guys, look at this. It freaking lines up I don't have to cut that whole section next to the island oh, oh. now I will have to cut move yeah tool belt kitty is uh, at it again he's already tried to eat my spacers um, I will have to cut the piece that goes up against that right there but I can get away at least with this one so that's not terrible I'll, I'll take that win so let's uh let's start there shall we later hey everybody we're back and wanted to give you a quick update um, next step in the process as it goes so last I saw you all I was still finishing tile well it is done um, I still have to grout but this is all of the tiles completed and you see my helper is always at hand um, so this is Willie's covering up my my favorite cut so we got all around the island we got up and underneath the cabinets all by the door sorry my flip-flops and Willie is always with us look at that I told you I'm gonna get these animals a pool belt and put them to work so yep, we got all of it done. This this part is still drying. It should be dry here in the next hour. And then I'm gonna start the grouting process, which will just bring it all together and make it look amazing. All right, I'll see you guys back in a little bit. Say bye, Willie. Say bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Willie kisses for everyone. 
Hey y'all. So, hey, we're back. Uh, so grouting a floor. So what's every, oh, Chongi's here to weigh his opinion in on this, but, uh, so what do you think? Does my grout look like a, car a caramel macchiato? A. B. Uh, baby poop, uh, with the runs. Or C. Mud. So, uh, weigh in. Chongi gave me his opinion already. Um, this actually dries really nice, but uh, it doesn't go on looking very nice. It looks like I'm, I get to be a kid again and play in the mud. And that has issues. So, oh, update on Willie. So, um, it's a corgi, it's a corgi thing. Uh, she got flea meds and a brand new beaut and brand new expensive flea collar and a bath and all kinds of good knit hello parker <laughs> okay yes yes are you gonna be my handy helper today oh god there's a face in my face okay so for all those who haven't seen parker yet this is parker <laughs> This is Grant's Bubba Boo, and uh, Parker is half Corgi, half Black Lab, so he's basically a Black Lab. See the face and the ears? See these ears? And uh, on Corgi legs. So he's actually kind of ridiculous looking, and when he's wet, he looks like a seal, but he cute. And then there's that, which all of you obviously know by now. Um, oh, and Tool Belt Kitty was, no, Parker, no, no, you cannot go in there. Yeek. No, out, out, out. Um, and Tool Belt Kitty was in here a minute ago. I'm sure he'll make a reappearance. So that's how things are going here. Having fun with A, B, C, or D. And uh, you guys get to decide. And trying to get this foreground with animals. Yep, we're doing shit with animals again. Alrighty, bye for now. See guys, I told you he'd be back. Hey, turd. Hey. Yeah, that's that's kind of gross. Hey, you gonna help me? Are you gonna help me? Why don't you wipe up the wipe up the grout? No, no. Okay. And let's see, let's let's watch this real quick. How does cat get from point A to point B and keep his feet from getting muddy? Beep. Okay, tidbit. The answer is he don't. <laughs> okay, everybody. So uh, we have let this sit on the floor for about an hour. And uh, the process at this point is you get a bucket of water and you get very friendly with your hose and your bucket because uh, it's all about the wiping. So clean down. Clean back and then rinse. Clean down, clean back, and rinse. And we do this until we go over the entire floor. And I'm all right, guys. So this is where we're at. It is. Uh, it's been a day, dude. Like the we couldn't get the water off to the house. Um, our sink faucet, our sink valves do not work. Um, so that was an ordeal. But look, check this out. look at this um got some painting to do <laughs> this is fine whatever that's the easy stuff right <clears throat> and so they're getting ready to install the new sink and uh that was an ordeal getting all that plumbing out and okay so these gadgets are for the seams that is really freaking cool I was wondering how that, like, how you would get epoxy down into that crack all the way. And like I said, guys, if you want to do a, uh, if you want to get granite for your kitchen or whatever, these guys, this, the, these guys are the way to go. Emerald Coast 
granite and tile is the way to go. This is awesome. Versus the 16 year old that tried to design my kitchen at Home Depot. <laughs> On another note, welcome to chaos. So we, um, for the install, we had to remove um, obviously all, the, all of the old granite or pieces, countertop pieces had to come out. So I had to remove all the drawers, everything from under the sink, and my poor coffee pot is now living in my bar. Might be a good home for it. You know, you got coffee, then you got alcohol. That's a good mix, right? Um, yeah, there's half, the other part of my kitchen is sitting here. <laughs> and, and everything else is over here. This is crazy. So, I don't know if I would recommend ever doing a kitchen remodel yourself, but if you do, I would say be prepared to live in chaos for a little while. Um, I don't, not, I don't know that I would do this again. Um, and if I did it for somebody else, I better really like them because otherwise they could never afford me. <laughs> so, oh yeah, here's the rest of our drawers. So this is in the living room. <laughs> yeah. There's the, there's the rest of the drawers for the kitchen. Poor little Corgi doesn't know what to do with herself. Good morning, everybody. So, let's wrap this week up, shall we? Um, this is where we're at so far. I was hoping to be completely done this week, but um, it, that's not going to happen, dude. Um, so, we got... The new countertops, which I showed you all, and I was able to put some of my kitchen back together. Sorry, there's some few things laying about. But new countertops. Um, the other thing I did was uh, finish the tile, of course, and start putting down trim. I still have to do a little bit more trimming and caulking around all the edges. But so let me tell you guys, let me turn this camera around. Let me tell you guys a little story. So, um, what happened was, <laughs> no shit, there I was, um, trying to install a sink. Now, here's the sink. I mean, I didn't install the sink itself. The granite guys did that. But, I had to reinstall my faucet and do all the plumbing underneath because now we have single basin versus double basin, so it all had to be replumbed. And the granite guys do not do that. So this was a freaking fiasco. So first off, I couldn't get the water shut off on the day that the granite arrived. Like, I could not get this water shut off. Um, we have weird filtration-y things going on underneath the sink. So you can't just turn the valve and it shuts the water off. It doesn't work like that. And uh, my old faucet decided to shit the bed and leak. So I had to go, I went to Home Depot, now this is like eight trips to Home Depot later. I had, I went and got this really fancy, fancy sink, uh, faucet, which came with a little soap dispenser, which I already had a soap dispenser, but you know, it came with one, so very cool. And then um, I had to replumb all of this. So that is, a new plumbing job. Oh, and I replaced the garbage disposal because it was about to shit the bed. So, yeah, and it flooded under here. The My water guy to try to help me turn off the water flooded. That's a whole nother, that, that could be a whole episode in and of itself. Um, but long story short, he flooded my kitchen out by accident. Um, so I had, I had all this, uh, this was basically all in water. I had to dry it all up, clean it all up, bleach it. Uh, to prevent any mold growth and all that kind of jazz, but you can see like there's a lot going on back up in here and um, So this all had to be replumbed because now with the filter system under here. It just makes it even more fun So yeah, that, that's a thing um, So finally got that plumbed out finally got the sink faucet installed which once once I got rid of the leaking faucet This faucet went in easy. So that's cool um it was just a freaking, freaking fiasco, man. I mean, um, 
that it was like the week from hell. So there was uh, between granite coming in, pulling out old countertops, um, which are heavy, which were heavy, those old ones. And then um, having the new ones installed, replumbing the sink, putting in a new faucet and disposal on top of, uh, oh, and the, and the electric, ran the electric for the, the new plug. So there you go. That's it installed, a little pretty. And it just pushes in like that. So, but, you know, Grant met um, his good friend, the Angry Pixies, installing that thing. I mean, it was, it was a week, guys. I'm not gonna lie, even Willie, Willie agrees. Don't you, Willie? Do you agree? Was it a week? Was it stressful? Did you stress out? Did you stress out? Huh? Yeah? So Willie had stresses? Um, yeah, even the kitten bailed on me. Even the bait, even Marshmallow bailed on me halfway through the week. She, he couldn't even take it anymore. So, uh, I'm not going to put you guys through the rest of this remodel. This is, I'll show you the, I'll do a quick video and show you the final outcome of everything all together. But, um, this is where, this is where the tiling ended. Now the next step is to take that tile all the way into this room. So, yay, the fun abounds. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you for joining me this week for all this uh, stupid, we'll call it kerfuckery, because that's what it is. Chaos and kerfuckery, I think that's the name of the video. So um, join me next week. We'll find something fun to go do, because I need a break from this freaking uh, kitchen construction. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna leave it right there, guys. So always, as always, you get out there, get muddy, get dusty I'm, I'm gonna go get I'm probably gonna go get dusty and uh, I think I might get schmooied that's a new one for the channel all right guys bye now